Okay, so um, we are going to look at some conditions affecting um, income, that's just uh, personal income or salary. And so we are going to look at some notions of uh, people with respect to how can I increase my income. So if you have that thought, you have, you have come across a search saying what to be your best uh, response to such question. How can I increase my income? That's what you're going to look at. And so we all know income as uh, money and as a result of doing something, service or work. Okay, so uh, we're going to look at uh, some practical ways we can increase our income. Now the first point if you want to increase your income is our uh, experience or capacity and then age. Mostly, this is one of the factors that uh, helps you to get bigger income, if that is correct, yeah. And so if you want to get a bigger income, increase your income, look at your experience, look at your capacity. Capacity is what we can do on a job. You can do a better job, uh, that you can also get a bigger income. So you can get a, a bigger income, or that means a bigger job. And then it comes with experience. How long have you been doing that job? Your experience can also help you to uh, get increased salary or income. So the second point is um, education and skills. The higher your education is possible and uh, available for getting a bigger income. So your skills, your education, if you have a better skills, a better education, the higher. And then the number with respect to qualifications. It also helps you to get a bigger or better income. So if you are thinking of getting a bigger income, increasing your income, you have to look at your education and then your scores. Okay. So your education will uh, correspond to your job, and then your job will correspond to your responsibilities, and then your responsibilities will correspond to your income. So education, job, responsibilities, and then income in that uh, syndrome. Then the three, uh, the third point, the third point says that you choosing career. Yes, that's very true. If you want to get income, that is why, or that is where some people change careers. That's where some people change jobs. You may be having a degree in nursing, working with uh, hospital A. You be earning around two hundred dollars. Somebody would also have a degree in nursing, work with. Uh, also to be, and that person will be earning around $350. That does it, uh, the content of what I'm trying to let you understand that your career also matters. In other syndromes, somebody will be having a um, mechanical engineer as a degree, first degree, will be working with an oil company, be earning higher than somebody with the same mechanical engineer degree working with, say, um, the armed forces. So your career traits also have an impact on your income structure, okay? So you have to look at that if you want to get a bigger income. Then you can also look at the waste structure in the environment or government legislature. You may have a twin brother with the same qualification or whatever, Maybe your dream brother is living in another country, doing the same job that you are doing here, but he may be earning, or you may be earning bigger than him or her. That is the concept that uh, I'm also trying to let you to understand. The, the, the environment or the uh, government that this structure supporting the waste structure can also affect the level of your income. So some people try to move or migrate into other countries mostly because they have better working uh, conditions that helps to get more or bigger income. Then the fifth point is that hazardous working conditions can also affect your income. Say um, two friends, they are all painters, okay? One is uh, painting a ground floor of a building, then the other person is painting, say, the seventh floor of the same building, okay? The one on the seventh floor is taking all 
more risk in case there is an accident, in case there is an incident, that person can easily die. The rate or the degree of injury may be very fatal. And so, when it comes or when you connect that to uh, the income, he's also going to get a bigger income than you, the one working on the ground floor. It's the same thing when it comes to those who are working on the fire rate. Those on the sea, they earn bigger than those on the uh, on the ground or offshore services. So your risk or hazardous condition of your working place can also affect your income. So once again, if you want bigger income, you have to learn to channel yourself into that area. Then the sixth point is that product or service demand of the company or supply and demand of the of, of labor. Yes. It's very rare, but then it, it's very authentic, okay? When your company makes more money, it's obvious you're also going to get more money. If your company is not making profit, there's no way the owner of the company will go and borrow, go, go and take a loan and come into you, you as a salary. It can continue for a longer time. If it continues in that sense of it, means that workers need to be laid off. But if your company is making more profit, it's obvious you're also going to get more income, more salary, than the, than the equation here. So, once again, you have to look for companies that are performing, then you can also move in, go and enjoy their salary structures. Then the seventh point is that the shift or differential system of working with respect to uh, uh, companies that operate on these uh, systems. Some people work in the night, some people work in the uh, mornings. Mostly those who work in the night and more than those who work in the mornings. And then, while you have holidays, if you go on holidays, it's obvious you're going to get uh, additional income to your income. And so these are some of the ways that you can earn more. Then, the last but not the least, is the eighth point is that professional associations and certifications. Yes, your education is there, your profession is there, but then when you have professional associations, it also boosts your income level. If you have professional details, okay, connections, it also gives you more uh, viability, which in the end also helps you to get more income. Then the last point is uh, your boss, okay. In most cases, your boss determines your salary. In most cases, the one above you, the one who controls you determines how your salary may be increased, even the percentage of increment may be determined by you. If your boss likes you, he may uh, increase your salary. If the boss does not like you, it means that your salary may be in that same uh, priority for a longer time. Even when you are due for promotion, your boss may decide not to promote you because promotion comes with salary increment. And so, this is one of the reasons why most people try to also change jobs. They think that their boss is not helping them to get promotions. They try to move out of that working environment. So these are the nine ways that you can learn, apply, and increase your um, your income. If you want to do that, then can be uh, subscribe to my channel. Your comments are welcome like and then can we also share my videos okay thank you for watching my videos and be part of my group thank you